Hey guys, welcome back to the channel techbeast.org. So in today's session, uh, it's gonna be the continuation of my uh, previous video, which I uh, made it on uh, OPC UA, okay? So basically in my previous video, I have explained all the theoretical concepts, how OPC UA basically uh, it's functioning. So what is OPC UA servers um, functionalities and what's the functionality of OPC UA client and some technical details I have uh, shared with you guys. So hope you have enjoyed that uh, part one. So as we, always do a hands-on right so that's the best way to uh, learn something to uh, something by uh, getting your hands dirty okay so in part two today i'm gonna uh, show you how we can use opc ua um, to to read uh, uh, some information okay via the opc ua protocol especially uh, you can apply this uh, in any of your industry 4.0 uh, solutions or if you're uh, working on opc ua and you can uh, really use this code uh, to to uh, read data from your opc ua service okay so uh, let's uh, get into the session and uh, basically this is our setup so in my previous video I have um, just uh, explained a glimpse of like what we are gonna do right so in this video I'm gonna explain it to you uh, clearly what's going to be the setup and I will uh, share the github uh, link of the server and the client uh, sample code which you can find in the description okay so then I will explain the code how the OPC UA server is uh, being created here and how we are modeling the data for the temperature pressure and the pump setting and how the client is sending a request to the opc uh, ua server and uh, how the opc ua server is responding everything we will see uh, in real time okay and we are really going to get our hands dirty in this uh, video so uh, just uh, keep watching guys if you have a raspberry pi just grab it and uh, let's uh, start our hack here okay so here uh, we are going to use uh, async ua python module so basically it's an asynchronous module it's it's much faster than uh, the previous version of the uh, opc ua uh, python module okay so we are going to use this and uh, the opc ua server is going to uh, run in our raspberry pi okay so then the client uh, in my uh, video i'm i'm gonna use my uh, la personal laptop so you can use, use yours also or you can use another raspberry pi which can be a client also okay so basically it's a server client concept uh, concept which we are going to uh, uh, demo it today okay so let's get into the session directly okay uh, so basically this is the python uh, module which uh, we are gonna use okay so basically this is the uh, OPC UA async IO is the actual Python module uh, it's a it's a quite big community okay so there are a lot of contributors are there and uh, the project have nearly like 630 stars and you see the community is very active so even last week there was some commenters happening uh, okay so it's it's pretty good um, uh, module we are going to use it for our uh, uh, for our OPC UA server creation okay so I have uh, let's uh, let's get into the actual code directly so just go to uh, github and uh, go to techbeast.org slash opc ua this url I have given the uh, uh, in the video description okay so basically you can see all the requirements uh, for you to understand what is opc ua how to run opc ua server and how to run opc ua client okay so this readme uh, file is uh, I have clearly uh, described what you have to do okay so basically this repository contains opc ua server code and the client code okay so you need python 3 point uh, more than three okay so like about three uh, and opc ua python library as i said we are going to use async ua Python library okay so basically to run the OPC UA server just clone this repository install the requirements okay so edit the IP address of your Raspberry Pi in the server.py code and execute it okay so you have to do the same thing for your uh, client also okay basically just um, uh, clone this repository in your client okay install the requirements okay so then uh, modify the IP address and connect to your server okay then execute the client.py so this is what basically we are going to do okay so let me just explain the code a little bit so that you will get a clear idea. So what's really happening behind the picture. Okay, so here I have imported all the required modules. Okay, so I'm just logging it to, to get more information on what is really happening. Okay, uh, okay. so this is our main uh, function. So basically I'm uh, creating a uh, server here okay so then uh, here this is our endpoint okay so basically this IP address you have to replace it with your Raspberry Pi's uh, IP address okay so the, or your server's IP address wherever you are running it okay so so that's that's our uh, where we are setting the endpoint so then uh, you have to set the server name so the server name is like in my case I have just mentioned I have used the default one so devnet opc ua test server okay so you can use any uh, any name it's it's just uh, 
just a string you just need to put that's it so then uh, you need to create a namespace so basically this namespace is uh, uh, should be uh, it, it should be good actually if you use okay so you can group uh, your devices okay so let's say you have uh, 10 PLCs and uh, you can you can group uh, uh, PLCs on according to the certain namespaces okay so then you can uh, read the data accordingly so okay so then uh, so here my namespaces uh, I just given the name my namespace so you can give anything uh, as per your requirement okay so here we are creating an object okay so in my previous uh, video like in theory we have uh, covered so what is address space in uh, OPC UA and uh, what are nodes okay so basically what this address space will have variables and methods okay so everything is an object in that address space okay so that's how we are gonna define here okay um, as you see uh, my object is basically VPLC VPLC is, is like a virtual PLC okay so here I have uh, created my object. So I'm just adding more variables to that object. For example, temperature, pressure, and pump setting. Okay, so that's how I have designed this. So, so basically this is an example code. So you can add more variables if you want. Okay, so basically I'm just printing a logger info, like starting the server, and I'm just uh, running uh, the server in an infinite loop. Okay, so basically you, you see I'm uh, writing the values for the variables. Okay, so I'm using random function. So the temperature between 25 to 35 uh, will be randomly uh, uh, return okay to this variable then similarly for the pressure uh, which will be between 55 to 75 and for my pump setting I'm just setting it 0 or 1 okay uh, uh, random like on and off so every five seconds we are uh, gonna write this value to our uh, variables and start the server okay so this will uh, start the server in our raspberry pi and now let's go to the client code okay so in client code it's pretty straightforward okay so the variables we are gonna read is uh, temperature pressure and pump setting so we know that so here you need to replace the IP address with your OPC US server's IP address okay so in my case it's my Raspberry Pi's IP address I will replace it here and show it to you how the client works shortly okay so here um, we are uh, defining the namespace so basically which namespace we are gonna read so we are defining it so then this is uh, the the main function where uh, we are gonna use to which we are gonna use to uh, get the information okay so basically uh, my variable I have defined the variable so what I'm gonna do is uh, under the client under the nodes and the root okay so I'm gonna get the child so all the child information will be the my virtual PLC and its variables okay so I have defined uh, objects here uh, then VPLC is my uh, object name then uh, temperature pressure pump setting so so I have just basically passing in a for loop so basically data variable 1 is temperature data variable 2 is pressure data variable 3 is pump setting okay so that's my variable so then uh, I'm gonna read get value okay so basically this get value function will be used to read the values of the variable okay I'm storing it in a, a variable called val okay so then I'm creating a list with all the three uh, uh, temperature pressure and pump setting okay so then I'm just uh, uh, passing it to the function where I'm zipping the two diction uh, two list basically temperature pressure and humidity then all the all its data okay so this will create a beautiful dictionary for us uh, this is better for a uh, JSON is always uh, user friendly right so it's it's good for viewing so basically I have did this here so ultimately what you need to know is you just need to know uh, the, the 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 core here okay this four lines will basically do uh, what the client is supposed to do okay so you just need to understand this uh, that's that's pretty good so then I'm gonna run this uh, main function in a uh, okay in an infinite loop so every five seconds the server will uh, create a value uh, then the client will every five seconds will request the value and the server will OPC US server will respond to it okay so now let's run and see how it looks like okay so here I have already logged into my Raspberry Pi so you can just uh, go to any of the folder which you like okay so basically all you need to do is just clone the repository so just go to uh, OPC UA this repository click the code okay just grab the URL then just run git clone okay so this will straight away create the repository for you so now uh, you will see OPC UA folder inside then what you need to do is you can see all the server.py uh, client.py files readme recommends everything is inside okay so the first step is you need to install the required packages okay so for that you can run pip install dash all requirements txt so this will straight away install the uh, required modules for us so in my case I think I think is already installed so so that's why it's showing requirements already satisfied okay so now what I need to do is I'm gonna edit the server.py file so let's 
uh, go to the server.py and as I said, put your Raspberry Pi IP address here. Okay, so in my case, my Raspberry Pi, it's a local IP, so I don't mind just typing it. Uh, okay, so this is my uh, Raspberry Pi's IP address. Okay, 192.168.18.30. So remaining all, uh, we just leave as it is, as I have already explained what each uh, line is actually performing. So just save it, okay. So then what we need to do, uh, we can, we are going to start the server now. So to start the server, just run um, Python 3 and server.py. So this will straight away start the server. As you see here, uh, so since we activated the logger, so you can see all the backend messages are being printed here. Okay, so we can see the message here listening on uh, 192.168 and uh, port number 4840. Okay, so OPC US servers port number this is. Okay, so now uh, let's go to our client program. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do now is um, let me just create a, another command line for you. So this uh, this is my actual PC. Okay, so this is I'm inside my Raspberry Pi. This is a server, and this is my PC. Okay, so in my PC, I'm gonna run my client basically. So uh, what's happening is uh, my code is already here. I have already pulled the repository, so I'm not going to pull it again here. So basically, this is our client.py. Okay, so this client.py file we are going to edit it. So Basically, I'm gonna open this in Visual Studio because I love it actually to, to use Visual Studio and edit this. Okay, so here I'm gonna replace my uh, Raspberry Pi's IP address. I'm gonna put it here. So basically it's 192.168.18.30. Okay, so this is our OPC US server's IP address. Okay, so just save it and we can close this. Okay, so now my client.py is ready. So all you need to do now is just run Python 3 client.py. Awesome, right? So you can see uh, our server already like every five seconds it's creating temperature, pressure and the pump setting. Okay, so my client is sending request every five seconds and it's getting a response from the server. So you can see temperature values getting uh, changed here. Okay, using our random function. So pressure value is being changed. Pump setting is also changing from one zero randomly. Okay, so this is pretty awesome, right? So this is how basically OPC UA uh, request response works actually. Okay, um, OPC UA also has a a functionality uh, which will basically uh, uh, publish uh, the message whenever there is a changes and you no need the client actually no need to uh, request okay whenever there is any data changes the server itself will directly push the message to the client okay so I have given the functionality also in the code maybe I'll just explain it to you uh, quickly I have just commented it in the code but if you have time you can just try it out too so in the server.py code actually you can check out here so basically this uh, I have created it's a class uh, with sub handler so you can see here uh, there is a function for data change notifications okay so whenever there is a data change let's say temperature like 25 26 27 right the every time the client no need to request so whenever there is a change is happening right the server itself will push the data to the client so basically if you want to try that and if you want to implement it in your server right you can just uh, uncomment this and you can run it and try it out okay Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. So let's make technology CPC for everyone. I will see you in my next video with more awesome and amazing contents on IoT.